Howdy y'all, it is Emma Smith here with the National Youth Preparedness Council and I am super excited to get to talk to you guys a little bit about heat related illnesses and how to prevent them this summer. I know everyone is probably so excited to get our first summer since lockdown. I know I personally am so excited to see my family I missed last year. I'm sure there's lots of river trips and hiking in my future. So in light of that, I just wanted to share with you guys today a little bit about the most two common heat related illnesses, heat exhaustion and heat stroke. When suffering from a heat stroke, which is the most serious heat related injury, your body actually loses the ability to sweat. Now sweating is the mechanism your body uses to regulate its temperature, typically. However, when you lose this ability, your body is unable to regulate its temperatures at all and they can skyrocket and this can have lasting impacts on your health, y'all. As far as heat exhaustion goes, the most notable symptoms are muscle spasms and fading in and out of consciousness. Now, you still have capabilities to sweat throughout the entirety of this spell, but your body is not able to regulate its temperature as well, but it's still able to do so through the use of sweat, where with the heat stroke, you lose that ability completely. A couple of super interesting facts that I found about the two heat-related illnesses are that when you're suffering from a heat stroke, your body can actually go to over 103 degrees Fahrenheit in less than 15 minutes. Now, your body loses the ability to sweat, so there's no true way for your body to regulate this temperature, and it can keep on climbing and leave lasting impacts on your health, as I said before. With heat exhaustion, a really interesting fact is that when you're suffering heat exhaustion, your brain actually sends signals throughout your body, in and out of your spells of consciousness, and if you don't notice you have heat exhaustion or it goes untreated, you can actually go into a coma. It only takes as little as 45 minutes for a spell of heat exhaustion to fully set in. Now, I know that sounds super scary, but there are some super simple steps you can take to ensure your safety and prevention of these heat related illnesses this summer. The best way is to hydrate guys, water, 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 whether you're inside, outside, on the water, in a boat, on the air, in a plane, anything drink water. It's not just important for the prevention of heat related illnesses, but it also is really important for your overall health. So staying hydrated is the best way to reduce your risk for heat related illnesses. Another really, really interesting way that I found out and had no clue, but researched further and it definitely makes sense is to wear light colored, loose fitting clothing. Now, Think about it. The sun's rays are attracted to darker colored clothes. So when you wear lighter colored clothing, it's not as harmful and those UV rays are not as drawn to you. When you wear loose fitting clothing, it allows for that occasional breeze to go right through you and cool your body off. I know everyone's so excited for summer and it's okay to have fun and enjoy these warmer temperatures, but make sure you take those few extra steps to ensure your safety this summer.